This is the um, the eve before the eve. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I'm only going to say that because, you know, you can't really say dates. You don't know, like, the exact date when you put the episode out. So you got to say the eve before the eve. So <laughs> there's a lot of things going on. I could tell you my day at work has been crazy as hell. Um, I'm kind of glad to have a couple days off to not do much of nothing and to rest i know you're glad to rest i know you are super glad to rest listen (laughs) resting has been what i'm on for the last five days (laughs) and you still ain't got on five days you still ain't on your resting mode because you've been running and, and recording so you probably need some real rest and relaxation. You probably need to unplug. Absolutely. <laughs> but it's hard to do. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, Willie, really, do you feel like you are not just physically tired, but kind of like mentally tired? I can like this at the end of the year. Like, I feel like I've done so much. I'm, I'm drained. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm mentally wore out. And I got to find something to rejuvenate myself because I'm really tired. And I got to do something like before the first of the year. I'm, I'm trying. I don't know why, because January is January. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm drained, girl. I'm tired. I'm so, so I was going, I, I didn't want to like break this one up with like a question because, um, I think this topic tonight is kind of serious, but it's kind of, you know, it's serious, but I think it it could be kind of funny too, because some of the shit you do that's self-destructing is um, funny if you actually overcome the self-destructing behavior. But if you think about the self-destructing things you've done when you were younger, you know, sometimes you laugh about the shit. If you if you're still doing some of the stuff, oh. then you're not laughing about the shit. You're you're probably you know in some type of fucked up mode right now. Like you, know, <laughs> you, you, you see, seek different therapists for your different isms that you deal with. But the reason why I say that is, you know, I I don't like to um, talk about anybody's misfortune. But today I was looking at um, the um, article on, on Wendy Williams. You know, she's really sick and she can't even walk. Um, and now they even said that she's, um, she may be diagnosed with dementia. Like, I was like, fuck, how did that like, happen? You see what I'm saying? Like, mm. wow. And um, she has had a lot of issues. But when I think about, and I know you remember these times when she was on the radio, and I think that she's like a thousand times um, better than when she was on the radio. When I when she was on the radio, I thought she was straight venomous. You know what I mean? I thought she just didn't give a flying rat ass about. I mean, she's bad to the point where she attacks and goes for the juggler. But Ramel, remember when she was on the radio? Oh, she was, woo, she was like... I think she would burn your family up if she would talk about it the next day on the show. You know what I mean? She was rough. She was rough. Um, And I always think about stuff like that. You know, do you do things that, you know, eventually, and I'm I'm, I'm talking about the karmatic world. Does a dollar and a cent make you do so many different things that in the long run, you're going to really be fucked? You know what I mean? I think so. I think we do. For money, you think it's all about money, or is you just deep inside? I do. Just, 
Okay, I'm gonna let you answer that one because that that kind of goes <laughs> to my head. <laughs> I think that we think about the dollar, the pennies, the money, and I think we we think about that, and so we're just like, mm, is is this what it is? And so yes, we do that. We we do what makes sense to us. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. That's that's a good one. I mean, yeah, I mean, I I love money. But I think about, you know, I don't want like that lightning bolt to strike my ass, you know, on some things, some things I won't cross the line on. I just know for myself, I won't do it, you know, and I'm not saying I'm like this goody good because, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm probably a hard person. I can curse you out and go down with the best of them. But some things, you know, I, I'm not a person that intentionally hurt other people's feelings. Because I know that that's just not my personality. I just do not. I don't think we intentionally other hurt other people. I don't think we intentionally hurt other people. She, she when the William left, bitch, she can. I told you she can break it down to nothing. She, I thought about when Whitney Houston called the radio station that day. I was actually listening. I was like, whoa. I mean, especially when you know people it's have just truth. truth. Is it true? It's true, and it's truth to that she had issues. And that's why I say the. You know, I guess when you think about how somebody had to do it, you know what I mean? Somebody was going to do it. Let me rephrase that. Somebody was going to do it. Somebody was going to pull the, the curtain back and expose that, you know, she was on drugs or whatever was happening with her because that was never going to stay a secret ever. Because when, when your slip is hanging like that, you're going to be exposed. Uh -huh. Somebody's going to tell it. Somebody's going to tell that you, you know, you run a rough shot. So, um, why not get paid for it? But is it delivery that make your ass, you know, more dignified? Or are you just more of the scum type that make you more of the, the, the jacked up kind of individual? You know, because this, the way she go at people, some of the content that she have is just really so, I don't know, it's so, it's so, it's not even ratchet, it's so demeaning. Look who grace uh, no. us, Mr. JB. What's happening? Thank What's you, happening? Jay, What's happening, what ladies? <laughs> yeah, that's right. What's good? <laughs> on oh, this Tuesday, on oh, this. You still had your underwear on you, which we didn't want to break up. You know, yeah, you know, you all disturbing my meditation and everything. <laughs> you know, I had to cut it short. All right. Well, sorry, you know, I get a lot done in my office. You know, I get a oh, lot I'm done sorry. in my office. <laughs> 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 So Jay, we you love being in your about, office. This was just a question. Um, I don't know if you read the um, article about Wendy Williams because we're going to talk about self destructing. I don't know if you read mm. the article about Wendy Williams and you know she's really ill. Yeah, I heard she was in a wheelchair and she was uh, she was struggling. Yes, right now I did hear that. I don't so know I all the saying, details. You know, yeah, you like know, because people put stuff on IG. You can't always, right? You can't always believe everything you see on Instagram. I mean, you know what I'm saying. I ain't seen it on CNN, but that don't mean I don't believe it. But well, what's going is, on with her? Something is. Well, they, she has signs of dementia. Um, it actually was. We can all clean. have a little dementia. I ain't gonna lie. I got a little dementia. I'm not claiming that one. But years ago. Go ahead, then. I ain't claiming that one. My mind is totally Yeah, well, you know, not remembering. You're right. We all suffer from that. Not remembering. But if she, yeah. if, you know, that's a difference. If they say you have some traits of dementia, they did some tests on you. That's different. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Short term. Di clinically diagnosed. Like yeah, you, right. you got a diagnosis where they're not just saying your ass is forgetful. You know what I mean? And maybe you just need some um, jinkoba or something like that to get your ass straight. But she has, um, she has been has, having some health issues for quite a while now, you know. Um, oh, wow, wow. Yeah, wow. and she's a, she's a past drug user, you know. And yeah. those type of residual effects that happen from people that are drug abusers, um, I say this a lot of times because I know a lot of people and praise God that they are recovered but it's always a residual effect when you have been an abuser, you know, that things happen. And Mel, we know two people that we can think of in mind that um, actually one is no longer with us anymore, but they end up having um, terminal illnesses um, from their drug usage. And, you know, people don't right, right. know. Well, you're abusing, your, 
Yeah. Well, you're abusing your body. I yeah, mean, the longer you're, you're on you're abusing it, your body. You you stand the chance of having the the after effects is greater. But we were just talking about um just the not just her, the illness. We were just talking about like arma almost karma. You know what I mean? You know, think about and I don't know if you know this, Jay, but oh, how shit, Wendy man. Williams used to be before she got on TV when she was on Hot 97. And I know you. Okay, she was a drug out. abuser then. Yeah, she was a drug abuser then. But me and Mel are from the same place and we could hear her on when she was on the radio. And she used to, if y'all think she was bad, and Mel, no, she was raw when she was. So listen, her. I have to ask y'all this one question for those that used to know her. When did she become a woman? Like, uh, what? The hell? Huh? Isn't, oh, I mean, doesn't about? she have, yeah, did she become a woman? Huh? Did she at one time? Her did name is not, not Wendell. John with your ass. Is it? I mean, y'all, I don't know. I mean, how long has she been Wendy? I don't know. When? She always when? been a woman? When she winded, when she went down. In her name, Wendy Wills. I'm Wendy saying, who? Yeah. What's her name? Wendy Williams, right? Yeah, what's her name before then, right. Jay? That's what I said. How long has she been with? I don't know. I don't know. It just you said her name was Wendell. You so can't painful. change the size that. of your feet and your hands when you change everything else. The size of your feet and hands oh, will always be a giveaway. God. If you were born a male, I ain't said that. Oh, you say that. Oh, I, ain't I am so. <laughs> it's, it's questionable. I mean, I, I don't know a lot of women right here, <laughs> six foot three, to wear size sixteen. I don't know. <laughs> bitty, a six, bitty, a bitty women right here. Adam's apple is that damn big. Hers bigger than mine. That was. I mean, seriously though. I'll just say I don't know. Wendy, with I heard that that she was a man. I just. Say I can see it. I don't know. I don't know. I've never been a big fan. Did anybody <laughs> say that Jay was allowed to be on camera with this shit? Can you be wrong? Be I just wrong. don't know. I mean, I'm not saying nothing bad about a male. I mean, I just don't know. I just didn't know. I thought she was. A, I thought really, <laughs> honestly, Jay she used to be a man day, all day. But you wrong. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Shout out to Wendy Williams. I hope you get better, Wendy. Uh, you know, all jokes aside, there really you go, do hope you get better. There you go. Do not, do not Wendy. in any way take me serious about that. Um, I really do hope that she gets better. And I, I don't honestly know. Honest, I know that. The, I saw Instagram, somebody posted it, a few people posted things on Instagram that she was in a wheelchair and she wasn't doing well. So, so when I used to be in uh, my whole bag when it came to uh, take care of people and she was, they were, they were like, we need somebody to do some male masculine like shit. What? Wait a minute, now I'm confused. You're saying you wanted her to do man shit? No, 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 no. I didn't like, want what? her to do nothing masculine. But they were like, we need to have somebody do very masculine makeup. Hmm? Who said that? Mm. Who, who said that? They need masculine makeup? Uh, wait, let's go back. Yeah, mm. start over there, because I missed that. <laughs> I'm saying, Me too. I was like, I... <laughs> mm. I was like, mm. That's how it went. That's that's what happened. She needed masculine. So Wendy Williams. When, so when she was on the radio, she was on the radio. She wanted to be masculine. You saying? No, I'm not saying that. I said they wanted masculine look and makeup. Who's they? They? Need to, they didn't need to try hard because they already look masculine. Oh, who's she, they? <laughs> they just needed some feminine makeup. Who? Like, who, who is they, y'all? Wendy. Her. Fan, her are people. Oh, are okay. Crew. So it's not, they impl implies more than one. Okay. So I'm just trying to keep up with y'all. Y'all know I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, Kimmy. So you got to <laughs> break this shit down for me and make it plain and make it simple. So that's even weirder then, right? Because why would you want masculine makeup? Because maybe you perform in the male portion of the act or something. Yeah, they wanted something that I honestly couldn't. And produce. then you know them, them boobs, them boobs. I mean, 
them boobs are a dead giveaway. You know, they are like what's, um, what's the giveaway part? The giveaway is like you know you you're you're just trying so hard to be a, a woman like that's just not natural like your boobs are sitting out like shelves you know they're too perky they're too perky they're not even way. perky right. they look like um they look I'm like so dumb with Janae. <laughs> they're too perky they're just too perky to be real i got you they just they <laughs> way they're that's like that the way, yeah and then right. the way she walk, it's like she got her butt cheek tied together or sewed together or something. It's just... Oh, shit. Y'all talking about me? Give me going hard. No, I think she going to God damn. No, Jay, she's she doing how, too much. <laughs> just think about how she walked. That walk is not normal for a woman. You know, it's just, it's kind of I don't agree with you, actually. Yeah, don't I've don't you never... agree? It's a little strange. It's a strange walk. It's like a he's a, a nasty walk. ass motherfucker. So he's going to agree. I, <laughs> I will say. Let me just say this right here: that Whitney Williams, I don't find her anything about her attractive at all. Matter of fact, I think she looks a lot more on the man that wants to look like a woman side than a woman oh. side. You know, in my personal opinion. But uh, I haven't looked at her in any other way. Like that's a dude that's <laughs> wanting to be a woman but hey do your thing you're successful your show you're rolling you know yeah. she's got her topics on some of her topics and some of the things she did was interesting but i didn't overall you know i wasn't a big fan of hers at all so i you know me and them, but i, 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 mean, I, I want to see her well i just want to see her well yeah i, I want to see anybody her well, have to suffer I you know what I mean? on nobody yeah i, want, yeah. I just want to talk about this self you know leading into our self-destructing behaviors you know um i think that she kind of popped in my mind as a person that has lots of self-destructing behaviors, you know, even though she's a successful woman, she's the, um, she can be a, a poster for self-destructing behaviors. And the reason why I, I kind of picked this topic, because I told Mel, I was looking, I don't know if you saw this, Jay, um, Red Table Talk, where Grammy was talking about, um, she has self-destructing behaviors and she kind of self-identified. Hmm? Who's Granny? Grammy. Grammy is Jada's mom. Oh, Grammy. Oh, Grammy. Okay. She's that's what they call a Grammy. Um shout out she, to Grammy. Grammy got it going on. Grammy got self to Grammy also. Yeah, playing. she she had a lot of things going on in her life. A lot. And um I, I like listening to her on the red table talk probably more than I like listening to Jada. And 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 uh, Willow, so. because don't you? Because Grammy is like real to truth to life. You know what I mean? She comes and she's so transparent. Some of the stuff I'm gonna be. I don't care if people like it or not. Some of the stuff that Jada start talking. You know, I, I sometimes disconnect with her because you know she was from Baltimore and stuff. Sometimes I think she's from Pluto. I mean, she is just so <laughs> out there. It's just like wow. You know, she and even you know, raise your kids the way you want, but so be it. But Grammy said that um she has been self-destructing all her life, basically. We all have. Are you are you not are you serious? We all have. I have yeah, I, I agree, and that's what made me want to talk about this topic, self-destructing. And she said she had no reason to like relate it to an incident or something happening to her. She said she was just born like this. Like people have been abused or something like or been in an under underprivileged home or you know or have abandonment issues or something you know where they have something to relate their self-destructing behavior she said she had none of that when she was growing up she couldn't relate to her parents or nothing she said she just felt like she was born like that when she was on drugs she said she had nothing to say hey this happened to me that's why I went to drugs and I felt like this was my comfort you know I well, then she like even for, needs she needs to sit in the chair a little bit longer me? then because they haven't had a breakthrough because it's always something. You're not born into an addiction like that unless you come from an addictive parent. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. I, I know I was in the middle of that sentence, but I don't know. But that's that was her thought. She said she could not she could not relate to anything because she didn't have parents. She said her parents was actually good parents to her. You know, only thing I could relate to that Jay was that. Sometimes think about if you are born an overthinker. You see what I'm saying? 
overthinking can be something that could be crushing and crippling, you know, that can make you paint scenarios in your mind and put yourself in scenarios that don't even exist, that can debilitate your decisions. So the yes, way she that, was talking, it made me think that she needed to have some type of intervention of her mind. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Well, that's what I said. They haven't had a breakthrough yet, Kimmy, because we are products of our environment as far as back as we can remember. None of us can remember as ourselves as babies, a little small infants in our developmental years. As you know, the babies are a lot smarter than they can express. Right. We know that from a very, very young age of raising children. So we can't recall those things in our life. And if it hadn't been told to us and if we suppress these things through over these years, it's going to take a long time for someone, for her to maybe acknowledge what actually took place. Mm -hmm. now, I just don't believe you're, you're born into that if you have that already in your environment, meaning your parents are already addicts, your parents are already overthinking because, you know, how was conditioning, for instance, you could just not like spiders or not like chicken noodle soup and your child not like it they mm -hmm. come up without that choice because of conditioning you see what i'm saying so it has to it has stemmed back to something but what goes on is that we're anchored to that right when and then we go through life self-medicating because we're still anchored to those emotions so we go through life self-medicating and self-medicating and self-medicating and then we finally like oh wait a minute hold it I've been self-medicating. I'm a dressed up garbage can. I'm successful outward appearances. I got a career. I got a good job. I got a good home. I got money in the bank. I got all these things. I'm so miserable at home. I'm mm -hmm. broke inside. Right. I'm hurting. And I continue to make bad choices because I'm self-medicating this thing, you know, that's been there all life. People overachieve with self-medicating, you know, that's the form mm -hmm. of it. Just sex as well as drug abuse, alcoholism, and, and the other ones we hear about sexism and retail therapy but over addictions and achievements and all these things are also forms of self-medicating as well so you you're going to continue to self-destruct internally because it's from the inside out until you deal with that and if she hasn't had a breakthrough with someone she just hadn't got to that point or that right person hadn't been able to help her with that but it's something Kim. i'm telling you it is something that she endured that she turned to drugs and and anything else that help her feel better about it, to help her try to cope with it, to help her try to get through it. It's something that happened. Um, well, in her she's life. not on drugs now, which is a good thing. Um, right. But I can see in her, and I don't know if y'all see this in her too. I still think that she is um, kind of struggling through life. You know, um, do you see that too with her, Mel? I think that she she has some type of codependency doesn't have to be drugs you know it can still right, be, see? It, it's still it could even be like jada and and in the and willow and 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 that whole family setting that could be a codependency as well um but i still see that in grammy you know what i mean and i i don't know but when she said self-destructing i kind of said let's do an episode on that because let's talk about our own selves and self-destructing because I, I don't know. Self-destructing is like Mel said, we all do it. Like self-destructing, like back in the day, the self-destructing stuff that you used to do, it could be fun. And some of it is, you know, could be dangerous, detrimental and um, life changing, you know? So, you know, that's just my thoughts on it. Um, I like I to mean, be really gay, self but- Self-destruction is, inter is interesting. It's introspective because actually we don't even get it. Like, yeah, we are fucking up. <laughs> yeah. Right. Fucking up. Yeah. yeah, 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 because of our subconscious, it's been going on for so long, man. We tell ourselves it's okay, we don't think anybody knows, you know, for most of us, because again, outward right. appearances, we, we got it going on. Mm -hmm. This is all you hear, right? You know, you look good, you look great, you know, all this little stuff. And in and, and you subconsciously you you're self-destructing, you know, you really are. Even if the bad choice is how you're handling your relationships, you know, mm -hmm. the bad choices are how you're dealing with your family. You may be overly ridiculed and criticizing and judging your own children, you know, right. and that is is a form of self-destruction. It really is. Or you could just be not acknowledging something that you went through. You know, you didn't forgive yourself for what you went through. You haven't, you know, went on in life and realized I didn't get a sorry from right. somebody. So you're still holding on to that thing. And it's still a monkey on your back, even though you think everybody thinks it's a damn mink coat. 
So you you you, 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 you go through life still self destructing until you because you can't hear what you you know unless you reveal it. Y'all hear me say that all the time. You can't hear what you don't reveal. You know. So that's why you continue to self destruct. But you're right, man. We do in so many different ways. You know. Uh, I think even in littlest forms, we doubt ourselves. You get that intuition sometimes. Absolutely. Something tell you to do something, right? And we don't do it. And the next thing you know, you be like, "Damn, man, something told me." That's a form of I it right there. That. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why are we, you know, staying in our own way like that? Why aren't we listening to the intuition and the Holy Spirit trying to guide us? Mm-hmm. That's a form of self destruction. We are you know? so often in our own damn way. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We in our own way with that. You know what I mean? So it, it's important. You know when we truly peel back the layers of ourselves and say, okay, this is who I am, good, bad, or different. Love and embrace all there is about you because first and foremost, all that you've been through, you're still here today. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. you're still here. You, you know, first and foremost, okay? And I promise you this, secondly, you talk to somebody, you meet enough people, you're going to find out somebody got it bad. I mean, really got it worse than you do. You know? Mm-hmm. Y'all hear that story about that man with times in the altar. I love to tell this little story. He was at the, He went to heaven he, and he was like, um, you know, he's complaining about all the stuff he ever been through. They were like, okay, everybody, you get one time, one time only put all your shit right here on the altar, all your problems on the altar, you know, turn around and pray or whatever. And so he did, uh, he prayed, he turned around and his problems was gone. <laughs> right. <laughs> he was like, oh shit. But it was somebody else's problems left there. Like you had to pick something back up, oh. right? You put something down, you had to pick it up. So he was complaining about it, or you could have not just put anything. Yeah, that's what it was. You had an opportunity to not put nothing down or put down your problems, right? He put down his problems. He turned around to pray. He turned around. His shit won't down no more. He had somebody else's that was a lot worse off than he is. And he was like, well, wait a minute. Oh, I can't get my problem back. No, nah, man, you gave your stuff up. Somebody was glad to get your stuff. So see, we'll be self-destruction in our own self-doubt, continuing to just hold on to that. Uh, whatever you went through in the past that you are letting dictate how you feel about yourself or how you think about yourself. You got to let that stuff go. You know what I mean? And and yeah, yeah you know, and that so, self-destruction. So is, let's talk is, about self-destructing and like, so, cause I want it when people listen to this, I want, I want people to start relating to scenarios. You know what I mean? So self-destructing in relationships. Cause I think that a lot of people that listen to our, our podcast, y'all, they are in relationships or trying to get relationships or or challenged in relationships, you know? So what are some things that are ways that can be self-destructing in relationships, you know? And don't talk general, talk real talk, because I could tell, tell you a lot of different ways uh, that can fuck uh, up a relationship and self-destruct caused by your own terms, you know what I mean? Not by somebody else. And I think a lot of times, even on social media, you can see, you know, even in the groups, a lot of times women, you know, we as women, we are always put that finger on on the dude, but we don't even look at the things that we doing as women. You see what I'm saying? Like, um, preach, preach. You know, um, I, I know if I, I can only talk for myself and I, I'll never talk for other women, but I'm just saying some things that I can identify that I see that is uh, more of a, that's the issue why I don't have instead of why I'm not doing this for myself, you know, to be able to have, you know, because no one is guaranteeing you anything, you know, and when I say self-destructing, there's a couple of people I can see in, in the, um, in this group, you know, cause the group is wonderful. They're very active. They're very engaging. Um, but they turn that around from something that has happened and they end up seeing the situation that happened. Then they end up demonizing their own self. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck did that conversation turn to that? You know, do you have that same kind of conversation with the man you're trying to, the new dude you're trying to talk to? Well, he gonna run the hell away. But it's more than dudes. It's just you know, your friend. Well, yeah, friend, friend, whatever. But you know, how do people self-destruct do y'all see that even in relationships, you know, because it's a lot of things that can happen that cause a person to self-destruct in a relationship. One, I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna put it out here, the lack of trust can cause you so to self we don't trust we don't trust each other that's a big problem but do you do you think Major. trust has to be earned because is it is trust it right not to just trust 
Do, don't you think yeah. it's it's right to be cautious about trusting? Because I think it's kind of bullshit it's if you start uh, trusting people lie. immediately. Well, he, here's what I'm saying, though, Kimmy. I, I I don't agree with this, and I'll probably be an ally by myself. I don't look at someone and immediately say I don't trust them. What I do say, (laughs) what I'm going to say is that I'm learned to trust myself to acknowledge people for who they show me they are. Okay. Okay. So, 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 so when you, I'm not going to just meet you and just not trust you, but I'm acknowledged the bullshit though, you know, and that I'm not going to ignore. So yeah, the self-destruction of trust, it is a major thing. If you legitimately brought trust issues into question of the relationship and that is not dealt with in accountability and ownership and moving forward. Yes, that can be self-destruction, which kind of goes back to the, my point I was gonna make is the mindset. It really is the mindset, you know, right. um, are you still holding on to shit, you know, in this relationship now from the past because back you, in the you, day that don't have to right, with us? right. Yeah, exactly. You know, you, you had a trust issue in the past, you know, because it was a red jogging suit. Now I got a red jogging suit and all goddamn sudden now you don't trust me. You no, know, so you got psychotic. some unresolved stuff. Right. Well, I'm just saying, if you haven't resolved from that no, stuff, he's just, he's just saying you, you trust you, issue. Jay, yeah, yeah. That's what I yeah. said. Trust to me. Trust, I think trust is the number one thing that makes people self-destruct. You know what I mean? They start right. doing irrational things because of issues that they haven't resolved. And the guard goes starts up. within, though. It starts within. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It starts within. I mean, I think I'm right. a lot like you, Jay, because it doesn't, first and foremost, I know myself. And I think I know myself because I have evolved over the years. You know what I mean? And I'm good with that. So if I feel like I cannot trust somebody because you have showed me, it's not something just initially, because I really right. don't have to worry about distrusting somebody because we're building on a relationship so i haven't granted you access to me to be able to distrust you in the beginning so that's the most important thing i'm not going to give you my damn bank account all my information when we're just meeting i'm not going to be even if i want to make a deposit what if i want to make a deposit no because i don't need your money i make enough money on my own so i don't have to so we don't even have to get in that kind of entanglement you know what i mean in the in the beginning because once you start now i really mean that because once we start leveraging off your money and my money you know then we may it may get compromised. I may be in a compromised situation. So I don't have to be, you know, challenged in that. So you laughing, Jay, but dude, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm laughing because I feel you the Jay's deposit is on the way. I'm team Jay all day today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I don't I don't need I don't need uh, I don't need um I do not need anybody's um I mean, not to <sighs> say that down the line. That a love offering. Yeah. You know with a love offering. You said a love offering. <laughs> well, you can give a love offering. I, nobody's <laughs> nobody's going to decline a love offering. But if I just meet you, Jay, like what the hell? I'm asking right, right. you for money. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I do get. I, that's a red flag to me. I'm saying, in all reality, I do get what you're saying. As time goes on, you do get more access. There's more trust built because the behavior. Because yeah. that's what it is. Trust is like love. That's an action word. Now, yeah. you can say things that would, you know, give me that, all right, nah, damn, that was kind of, all right, I'm going to keep my eye on your ass now. So you what, about, what but, about sex? We talking about money. Go into sex. The same thing you could apply Self-destructing? To yeah, yeah. definitely <laughs> self-destructive. You ain't giving none up if you ain't, See, you know. Now you want to be, I ain't going to, Ramel going to be team you, and I'm going to be sitting on Right. I'm going to be team J all day. It's See? got to be plentiful if that's your language of love. I'm just saying. going to do it all day. You said be plentiful. Right. <laughs> if it's your language of love, you if you don't know who you are and haven't really embraced your languages of love, then you're going to, you got to be with somebody that that's compatible. Ooh, Lord help us, Jesus. I'm just saying. Y'all too? I'm, I'm, still, in the game. I'm still in the game. I'm still in the game. I'm still starting too. So if you, you ain't... Said what? Um, yeah. Let's make it happen. Yeah. It don't matter what you got going on. I don't give a damn. Right. You mad? Exactly. Let's fuck. Come on now. 
Yeah. And that is right. actually, you know what? I'm gonna tell you something else. I'm glad you said it, Mel, because that turns into a self destruction. Look, I'm because just rubbing and pulling. <laughs> yeah, you done made it. Don't turn that thing into like a weapon. Like you gonna use it as a get me out. You ain't getting nothing. Damn, you getting it too? Ain't no way. What the hell? We're not, you, we're not yeah, don't be acting crazy like that. You ain't gonna get that. What? You know you want it from no. the back. Cut it out. You know, from the back, from the side, from the. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Rub it, don't rub it, flip it down. Why I, even... <laughs> I don't so, know yeah. why I even. Submit. The lack of yeah. sex and Why'd intimacy. You start this and I'm gonna add intimacy. To I, don't say intimacy. I don't even you know. I don't even know. You said it right. Kimmy said this. She said it. I, I mean, but I, I mean, it finally. What the? What the hell? But, I didn't know it was gonna go like that. <laughs> But look, throw in intimacy. I'm gonna just throw that in there too, cause yeah, you can't you know? throw in intimacy with Jay, cause Jay don't be doing no intimacy. See? He not doing. No, no, no. I got some of that in me too now, man. He I got do. it. I in got him. some of that in me too now. Yeah. I was just saying. Okay. Let, I mean, real me talk. What's up? The, the, yeah, we got, we got to it. sometimes we got to do that. That's just what we got to do. I need that. I need that. That that okay. that touch. I A need that soft caress. I need that. You know, I need them gentle rubs you know that there's this mm. just soothing you know you know soothe the mm. savage beast yeah <laughs> you go tame that beast <laughs> yeah lord okay. Okay. Have to do that all right okay yeah see practice yeah. what you preach <laughs> How are we talking about that? It ain't that nothing to do with self-destruction nothing. nothing no if there's well, a lack just talking if there is an intentional lack, let's put it that way. That's the self-destruction part. You know, you can't help if somebody got a medical problem. But if you intentionally, <laughs> intentionally being neglectful, and that's almost now with the level of discretion too. Shout out to the medical departments too right now, all the health departments, because the discretionary methods of passing out Viagra, I truly appreciate it. But there's still what? no excuse if you have not, you know, if you got some issues going on, you know, lack of sex and intimacy can be self-destructing, big time. What, you, what says you, Mayo? I, I I said the same thing. I agree with you. I cannot disagree. <sighs> Jay, I just can't. Right. I mean, if it's your language of love, it's your love saying. language. Go for it. Right. Yeah. If it's yeah. your language. You go for it. Right. I just say that you know, when we think about self-destructing. It doesn't always have to be withholding that can cause somebody to self-destruct. Right. I you think that the, the foundation of it will come from really not having a self-esteem, sometimes identity crisis right. that you're struggling with, you know, all those things that you're continuing to self-destruct. Because I, I, I just feel and advocate once you do know who you are love who you are you'll protect that with everything in yourself and you will and, no longer self-destruct and you know but that if you don't mm, yeah go ahead you you know that jay I'm, I'm going to switch it over to like men and women you know how it's so such a difference it, and it's always accepted with that men can sleep with as many women as they want you know and not get a negative um title <clears> or persona that they um, have this promiscuous life, but you know, well, women don't care no more now. They can do whatever they they're doing whatever they want. Y'all but, call it community dick now. Yeah, yeah community, like, dick. community, community dick. dick. We we did in the episode about community dick. So I mean, I don't know if you want to be titled a community dick. I don't know how um favorable that would sound. It just sounds really diseased. Is that written. how you want to be titled? No, uh, not me. I'm, I'm, I don't do that no more anyway, but I'm just saying. Like, is that how you retitled? Yeah, yeah I retired. That doesn't you know, sound Captain, good. That sounds like the public. Captain Nasty. Captain Nasty retired. Yeah, I know. That sounds like something in the health clinic, Captain right? Captain Nasty? This, we're going to bring y'all come look at the community dick. You know, yeah. <laughs> Captain Nasty. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he 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 resigned. He put the cape up. He put the cape up. He put the cape up, y'all. It sound like a. Nasty. It just sound like the public pool to me. Like you know, you take a chance going. But wait, there. we doing Captain Na Captain Nasty? No, I'm saying he resigned. Now. Is that Captain what we doing? Nasty. 
He he resigned now, Mel. Oh, exactly. Yeah, the capes. He put the cape up, Mel. Captain Nasty. Well, yeah. well the, the point that I was making, you know, that <laughs> in, in women. Wait, Kimmy, we gotta back up. <laughs> Huh? Come on, there was a point you was making. There was a point I was making. <laughs> oh God, y'all. After that, I know what I was doing putting these two together on here. <laughs> Go ahead, Mel. Mel, please. Make that point. Know, well, you know you should not put B and J on the same fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> and start talking about self-destruction and sex. You know? And this about destruction? Yeah, both of us done been through some shit now, Kimmy. You know that now. We done been through some shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker over here talking about Captain Nasty. I'm like, "Mm, what we talking about? (laughs) Down, boy. Let me stop rubbing. Let me stop rubbing and doing too much. Did you not see that? I'm doing too much. Okay. Anyway. Well, I'll just say my little boring line over here. (laughs) Just say it. Okay, thank you for coming to the porch. Now, look, look, just for the listeners in the back, we know about the quiet ones. Them are the ones you got to watch too now. I'm not quiet. I fight everybody. Yeah, Yeah, all the quiet ones. Who's in the back? Who's in the back? I'm done. All the people in the back, you know, we know about them quiet ones. Look, Kimmy, we'd be like, Oh, we're gonna be on the porch. We're gonna do this. I said, Who coming? She said, Jay, I'll be like, Oh, I'm gonna be right there. <laughs> yeah. Because he's gonna be crazy and I'm gonna be crazy. And it's right always with gonna him. be the live ones. This is always you know, gonna be. Yeah, everybody yeah. can't come to these ones. I have to mark this one. Um, children can't listen to these episodes. But even definitely the- rated R. Definitely fine. rated R. Yeah, children can't listen to these episodes. <laughs> maybe they maybe they should listen. They can then they can, you know. Get themselves to prepare for life. Well, you know, hell, this generation right day. now, this this generation, they don't keep nothing from this generation. I grew up where it was another room my parents be in, and I had to leave. I couldn't be out there in the conversation or TV or anything with the adults. There was a program going on and grown folks in the room. I had to leave. Nowadays, hell no. They could be three years old in there. They cussing around them, watching all the gangster movies, anything. You know, they hearing stuff. I was at, at the store the other day. You know how the cars come up with the booming system. Boom, 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 boom. You know, I'm like, yo, that don't sound nice so i turn i just so happen to look and see the car and it's like two infants in the damn back seat i'm like damn in that car you can hit a base a mile away and they and put little like, eardrums it's gonna yeah. be and they ain't got no ear muffs on the babies or nothing i'm like god dang that's called so, call the child enforcement because somebody ain't got this no generation dance. is different <laughs> <laughs> they don't hold nothing back from nobody. All these kids now, they see and hear everything. You know? Yeah. I'm telling you. It's oh, crazy, I don't know like that, Jay. You couldn't be well, thank talking you, Jay, for cutting talking. loose. <laughs> yeah, kids, that's why they look at you. You know, when you was growing up, you think about it. If you was cursing, you saw an adult walk up, you stopped. You just right. got quiet, please. They curse, look you in your face like, what you looking at? Look at his eyes. <laughs> like okay right exactly you you knew you knew you had to be in your place and adults was gonna be in their place Mm -hmm. now everybody got their own everybody got the same right now yeah there's all yeah i'm saying you know they only care no more it'd be four-year-old babies in the movies watching rated all movies now they don't even care no more that's gonna be their first words. Gonna <laughs> know A B C. It'll be F U and yeah, F U so. and F U. So so again, self destructing. Um. So anybody got any stories about self destructive? Mel, you got any? Well, I do. I do. I have Uh-oh. a friend who was. Um, she always was doing self destructive behavior. And I didn't recognize it right away, but I learned later that it was just self-destruction. And, you know, she loved herself. She loved herself. And, but she was very self-destructive. What and was she doing, Mel? Be, well, uh, I mean, everything, anything and everything. She would just do like, okay, well, we, let's just say this. Um, she was we would we would be doing whatever you know anything 
And then it would be like, oh my God, this is self-destructive behavior because it wasn't good for any of us. It wasn't good for anybody. Right. Nothing. I, I had a friend like that anybody. too. She, I had a friend. Was, I don't know if that's self-destruct or self-sabotage. It was, well, it's the same. Yeah. It was yeah. drug yeah. abuse. It was it was it was drug abuse. And I hate <clears throat> to talk about her in that way because she's not here to defend herself. But honestly, it was self-destructive behavior. Yeah. Yeah. I had yeah. I had a friend like that too. She um she was very um she didn't use drugs or anything like that, but when I say self-destruct the self-destructive behavior. Um, and you probably know people like this because it's almost like a brilliant mind going to waste, you know, very organized, exactly. knew a lot, yeah. knew a lot yeah. of things, yeah. but mm -hmm. seemed like they were getting almost to the finish line. And where the self-destructive behavior came in, either they dropped the ball, never completed anything, disappeared off the scene, and never completed anything. And then when you talk to them, it's like, I can't do it. I'm going through depression. I'm going to end. Then they would start from the finish line all over again, you know? But they had She's so much wealth of everybody. information and they could do so much, but nothing ever could get completed, ever, you know? And it was like, right. so you felt right. so bad from because you knew like, are you going to make it this time? Like they I were right. I was mad. I mean, I, at first I was mad. Right. Because I, was I was working mad with this her. person and then I just had to let them go because they were starting to hinder me because it, it was like they were feeding really good information. And right before you felt like a breakthrough was going to happen, they either disappeared off the scene. They would, you know, when the deadline her set, ass. and we would talk about the same thing and it was like <laughs> groundhog day we just kept doing the same thing over and over again so you have to let that person go because then they'll drag you into their self self-destructive behaviors you know and uh, absolutely yes yes at some point in life you have to realize that some people will stay in your heart but not in your life yeah you yes know? And, i was and, so mad and at her that's yeah, that's what I mean. You, you know, she's going to stay in your heart forever, but, you know, not in your life. And I know sometimes actually people have deceased and passed on, but understanding we do have to protect ourselves. You know, this is what I was talking about, the knowing who we are, loving who we are and protecting who we are, that there's just some relationships you can't have because they're unfortunately, they're going through something. And again, it goes back to, you know, the disease of um, mental illness. It really does in many shapes and forms and fashion. And the stigma is, oh, you know, you crazy. No, I ain't crazy. You crazy. I ain't crazy. You know, this is the stigma that people, especially the black community, nobody else wants to talk about it. But um, it is unfortunate. Over 40, 40 it's up to 45% now of adults have or is still currently dealing with some form of depression and anxiety uh, in their lives, you know. And, and so that. I think the number is so high, Jay, for two big reasons. Um, because we are, we're we're a cousin a country that um, we we speak one thing but we don't show the action that we really want to give resources to people because we have so much red line for resources to people and that's some really huge things when you go to other countries there's not that hard um, that that hard line to get help you know. First and foremost, our insurance, our whole insurance healthcare industry is almost on the verge of collapsing because it's money driven. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, that's and, a whole nother subject. Right. You and that's two a, days talking about that. Yeah, but if you think about it, you're not going to walk into no one's office without health care and not having a, a good plan to be able to even talk to them. You know, so if you can't even get to the front door, you are already debilitated. And then the people who are past the point where they need help, they already have the stigma that we already have been let down. Even think about people of color that we have been let down. The system has let us down. So they're not trusting the system, you know what I mean, to come through and give us what we need to make make sure that we are 
getting right. the resources and getting the help. So you got these two factors weighing out. Like it's so many people, like I'm glad that you're so here. People just throwing in the towels. like what Yeah, they're saying, throwing basically. in the towels. So yeah, the I'm numbers dying. are raising. You right. know, if, you, if people are thinking, I live in, in outside Philadelphia, you, you live in a major city too from Atlanta. These major cities have lots of black folks living in them. And they say, why is the crime rate going up? People think it's just about stealing and things like that. It's not. Mental illness is going. People revert to violence when they cannot <clears throat> get their minds grounded and things. They revert to violence. You know what I mean? It's a lady that's right. got his shot in her head and shot in her belly, a pregnant woman. You know, like you said, who, oh, what monster would do something crazy like that? But do you see that the monster. protection was slow and the people just think it's normal now? You know? Things need to be dealt with. You know, um, when we talk about self-destructing behaviors, if we don't look at ourselves and say, we got to start holding people accountable so we can get the things we need, it's going to do nothing but get worse. You know what I mean? Think about everything you do, Jay, and I hate to put you on the spot, to um then don't to, to get <laughs> oh, damn shit. We're gonna put your ass on the spot don't go saying, ahead all right, I'm I'm good. Good. i like what people say i didn't mean to interrupt you well to how are you to, then to get people <laughs> to get people the resources they need you know what i mean it's not uh, it, it hasn't been an easy yeah. road but you stuck with it and you got where you needed to be think about the people who give up and they just feel like it's too challenging yeah, exactly. you know what i mean and, and that's why i say it goes back to the mindset it really does and a lot of times the unresolved issue from you know as i say it's a broken little boy a broken little girl and a lot of us that we have not acknowledged and uh for a lot of years you know and that unfortunately yeah. is is something that it it may be suppressed and dressed up at a facade for a lot of a lot of years but then it eventually comes to a head you know, and by your relationships and the inability to have relationships and mm -hmm. your inability to continue just to be happy, to be at peace, like to meet people that are always miserable as hell. You're just always miserable. The whole conversation is bickering, complaining, and murmuring, you know, and, and, and just murmuring? never have anybody in their life. Yeah, all the time, just complaining, whining, murmuring about anything and everything. You know, you just always mad. The sun's shining too damn bright today. You know, you just <laughs> always complaining. <laughs> about something it's vitamin d you know that's what you need damn it so you know but it's just so it just I has to it. you know be more it. and i just shout out to all the social workers and therapists and everybody working in mental health right now because this is what we need more people that are on the forefront but then also people that are saying hey it's okay to not be okay guess what i've experienced this i've experienced that and this is what I've done now. This is what I've changed my lifestyle. I'm thinking healthier. I'm thinking more positive. Now. So those things are, are going to help us, as you were talking about, something needs to be done. That's going to help us, you know, well, turn I'm that curve a little question bit. question out there because we, we, we're, we're, we're swaying towards mental health, okay? But can self-destruction not be something that's mentally um, debilitating, a mental health issue? It's not no, your body it's follows not. your mind. Yeah, your body follows your mind. So, so you think everything that a person is doing is self-destructing is because they're mentally challenged somewhere. Absolutely. Absolutely. You agree with that, Mel? I do. I do. I don't. So help me understand that, how your body's gonna do something that your mind is because not I don't coming. think that everybody that like, that are doing self-destructing behaviors are mentally challenged. I think that some people can be just lazy. That's a, so, there's, so this sounds like there's a wide laziness. range of what self-destruction means then. Self-destruction I mean, means that you're doing things that hinder that. you from being a productive and protect, um, a productive, positive person. And if you are lazy and you stop yourself from progressing in life, that has nothing that's to do with mental. you being mentally you're, challenged. You're lazy. So, you're lazy knowing you need to get up. Lazy. You're lazy. What does that have to do with you being uh, mentally challenged? You're just a lazy ass. But being well, being mentally challenged, I still think it's a lot. I think it's a great, it's a it's a great weight. But I'm let me say this. I do not think okay. everybody let me say this, who self destruct is mentally here's what challenged. I, here's what I'm gonna say: the mental challenge may not be a basket case, 
Right. But you don't get the hell up out the bed, wash your ass, and do your clothes, do your I laundry. Didn't say do all wash your ass. You don't wash it. You don't though. wash your dishes. You're being lazy. You're lazy. You're lazy. You're lazy. No, you're putting that everything is in the lazy a category. Form. No. But I'm saying, using your example, if you're lazy and not being a positive, productive I'm person, I'm all day. No, you're, you you put that, everything in a lazy character. You put wash your ass and all that stuff like that. When okay, you let me your use your word. Like that, that's something mentally wrong with you. But okay, I'm saying, if your you're word. just Not lazy, positive. and I'm just okay. saying you're lazy and you're late. Just say you're always late for work. That's a right. self-destructing behavior. So let's break that down. The alarm clock goes off. You hit it again. 20 times you'd have hit the damn snooze. You gotcha. won't get out that bed. And you did you get out the bed you and you're moving you, slow. And you're okay, but that's what I'm saying. You, Maybe you're right. late for so work you, for five minutes a day. You're so late you're for lacking, seven minutes a day. You're mentally right. ill. So you're lacking the motivation to be better How manager that of your motivation? time. motivation? Because, or were well, you lacking the willpower to be a better manager of your time? Because you know the time you need you to leave your sum, house. So you, you cannot work sum, on time. You cannot sum everybody up like that. Because some people, some people are just unorganized people. And that's just their skills is just unorganized people. And that does not make them mentally ill. I'm so not, that means so see, everybody would be ill organized. I'm not saying it makes them mentally ill. I'm not saying that. And I'm challenging y'all because well, well, you can't move everybody this. into a mental illness case. I'm not it's saying it's a mental illness well, issue. Means you do things that can hinder you from progressing. Now, being lazy, I, not being on time, being unorganized, all those things can fit into a self-destructing behavior. Yeah, I'm going to say this. Can yeah, the behavior, but I'm not saying that's uh, mentally ill. I can't agree with that because y'all don't know what self-destructing can do. If you okay. keep being late for work, you're going to get your ass fired. What and I'm you know saying what? Is you're that... going to be fired because you're not on time. Because you work for okay. people. But maybe if you run your own business, and if you're not on time for your own business and you depend on other employees, you may lose lots of money because they don't know what they're doing either. Entrepreneurship has their, their pitfalls too. But Let you just, just say can't this. get yourself organized mm -hmm. because you have never been an organized person. And some people can't. But you, you're really good with numbers. But you're okay. just not an organized person. Right. Okay. So I think what the misconception is that in mental health and mental illness is like we're looking at the pendulum swung all the way to the left. But that's the point Whereas, that I'm trying to where make. I'm is trying that to say though, I don't want to put everybody in, the in smallest one form. Right. Okay. So here's what I'm saying: in the smallest form of behavior patterns, it still stems to mental health, even in this. I minutest. don't agree. Smallest. Well, here's what I'm saying because we can break that all the way down, and you'll see. I don't have all day to break it all down. I just no, but I'm saying is you don't. No, it, it goes back to your thinking. It goes back to your thinking. What it I'm trying to say. It's to all thinking, a thought process. It's not fair to. It's not fair because you want to be right to put everybody in the same bucket. No, 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 no. It's not a right or wrong. I'm just saying. It's I'm just trying to say. Y'all didn't even think about that. Y'all didn't even think of both of y'all didn't even think about that. No, nope. I'm saying, Kimmy, no, what well, if you're not able to manage you your time and you saying, develop that I'm, pattern? I'm just being the advocate, I'm just saying because I know it's a habit. People like that. So, what so what they have is a bad habit of mismanaging their time, it be a right? bad habit that's and that starts from that is up in your that mind. The what? habit start in your mind, your habits start, start in your mind. That, start, that, don't, that, don't, that may not start from your mind. You no, know they could start from that, could start from how you were in your household that's nothing with yeah. your mind because guess what let me tell you something i'm a really organized person how you process really, the information really, right really, no no jay no okay well tell no. me because oh, mo because mo because when you teach when you teach skills to children from oh, little side, tiny jay. people when you Thank teach you, them that when you teach them that and tell the take it from me because i tore mine from an infant on up each child okay. had different skills that you right. teach them. Each one has different ways that you teach them. And my kids do the same thing that I taught them in their right. organizational skills. Now that okay. they're grown, they do things differently. But one thing that hasn't left them is the things that I have taught them. It doesn't make them mentally ill. Now, I do have an autistic daughter, but I'm just saying the one that my son He's always late for different things. 
that doesn't make my son all mentally no, ill. See, this is why I was saying. So this is why I put that up to behavior you pattern. I can't a put behavior pattern. A behavior pattern. It's like that. No. Well, okay. Well, here's what I'm trying to say, Kim. I just want to say this for the record. Mental illness does not mean to the extreme I all didn't, the time. Dang, I'm saying I fully this. understand now, it doesn't mean to okay. the extreme. I'm just so, saying it doesn't have to be categorized as a mental illness or a mental challenge. Okay. We'll call it like what some people say is you don't have your priorities in order, right? Okay. So that if you don't have your priorities it's in called order, a you're not managing your time. Like a, well, yeah, I'm saying, but it can it's be something that can be called a personality trait. Well, that's what it's called. Mismanaging your time is a personality trait. It's mismanaging called your time. a personality trait. Okay, well, I, I, it this, is. I, it's called a personality trait, and I just wanted to put it out there because I just wanted to say that everything that somebody does that could be self-destructive does, and it goes back to what Grammy said. It doesn't have to be something that an occurrence or something you think that happened causes you to be self-destructive. Well, I don't agree with that. So okay. she said that, well, but I, I don't agree, agree with her. I'm saying that we can agree. But, that I, agree. I agree with her, Jay, because mm -hmm. everything is not because it's mentally driven. That's a person. Okay. Don't we all have personality driven, traits? Though. And all our personality Most traits are. does not mean that it's something that hinders us or if there's something that enhances Most us. Most things are mentally driven. I don't know. Personality It is, traits, consciously or subconsciously, per, Kimmy. And this is what I would say. Personality subconsciously traits are not mentally driven. Can I say this, though? Personality traits are who you are. Behavior patterns are what Thank you're you. doing. Thank so you. a There's behavior pattern, well, hold up. So let me finish. A behavior pattern of mismanaging your time can be fixed. Your personality is who you are. Oh, you are. think so? You think so? Yes. A, a mismanagement of behavior. Mismanaging okay. your time. You think right. it's so mismanaging you're, if you're, your time if you're because always you want to prove that if someone is late for work or if they're late for their time, that's called in their mismanaging their time. But you don't know what they're doing. You think they're slothing around and they're mismanaging. Well, I didn't say they're slothing around. I'm saying so what, what's making that, you know, what's making the mix. Okay. I don't want to get off a track. I just wanted to play a point that was opposite from your twin. We can have a fact that we agree yeah, to disagree, yeah. and that is right. the whole point about it. I love yeah, it. That's I the whole too. point. We're supposed to yeah. agree to disagree. We're yeah. not supposed to always agree. You think it's for mental, mental um health awareness i think that yes there's definitely everything starts uh, from your mind and shout out to grammy shout awareness. out to grammy i just but want to I say think grammy. That self destructive behavior is not all in the same pot far as health um mental health awareness i think I that you. there's just personality traits that can make people have self de self um destructive patterns as well which is not always um something that um and and i'll just give you the last thought before we close this out especially if you say that you can fix it then you know that that is something that is controllable a lot of times when we think about self-destructive behaviors we think we relate to mental health and it has to be something where intervention has to come into play or assistance has to come into play. That's no, why doesn't. I say that. Not always. That's why I say that. Um, I have to say that self-destructive behaviors are behaviors that we can control in a lot of ways. And I, do, I agree. Not to. However, there are times we don't recognize it. We don't recognize it. I agree. Because of our subconscious. And that's the conditioning part that we do things yeah. consciously and then we do things subconsciously because of our conditioning a lot of times. I mean, I've that, been fucking you know. a lot of guys and be like, ooh, <laughs> this is good and it's fun and right, it's right. all this. And then okay. you know, Jay, Jay's like, yeah, that's right. I'm on the edge <laughs> of my seat. I'm on the edge I of my know. seat. <laughs> <laughs> and then for them, it's fun. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's, it's a self-destructive behavior. Well, it's not satisfying. What do you and mean? They ain't bringing the egg game. Satisfying, but I rec it's, it's satisfying, but I recognize it. I'm just recognizing it's a self-destructive behavior. I do this because for one reason or the other. 
So do you think that you're mentally ill? I don't think I'm mentally Thank ill. Thank you. I don't either. Okay. So anybody else have well, anything then, to say? I think this was a great episode. <laughs> and wow. I, um, so next Wednesday, wow. join us on the porch. This is Kim from Let's Chit Chat Sis. <laughs> One joining me on the porch is A.B. <laughs> and Ramel. So check us on our after show where we will conclude this conversation. Have a great night. Peace. <laughs>